Hi guys, this is uh, part four of the uh, foam helmet build. Um, I just want to start by, if anyone's curious why I'm not actually uh, showing how things are cut, I think they're pretty straightforward in how things are cut because it's all literally just rect angles that I'm just piecing on and then just cutting it down. So if you want me to do uh, you know, an actual walkthrough talk on how I'm cutting things and how I'm measuring and that, I'm happy to do so if you just put it in the comment box below. I may do it for this project if you get in touch with me in time or I'll do it on the next project and I'll do more of a walkthrough, talk through like, you know, stage by stage and I'll record how I'm putting it together and that. But okay, um, like I said, this is part four. I've started working on more of uh, the detail now for the helmet, the sort of like tying it together. Before I was getting a little bit like, uh, I wouldn't say the press, but a little bit annoyed on how the helmet was how the helmet was coming together because obviously I didn't have drawings as I've said before. I'm just literally doing it off the top of my head, putting things on, seeing how they look. But I'm liking how the uh, the details across the bridge of the nose. Uh, I'm going to do more on the side here, but like looking more towards the head and how it's sort of uh, getting like a sort of like a, a scale effect and that how it's rolling through with the design from the under layer to the actual texture on top and then uh, on top of the uh, the head plate as it were as I described before and it's sort of tying in with these uh, sort of just along the uh, the eyebrow bridge of the nose going down towards uh, the cheekbones um, yeah I'm liking it basically all I did with that was just sort of like just put things on and layer it over each other and then just see how it looks and then I thought oh, okay that looks pretty good. I would just cut it, glue it, and I was gluing as I was cu cutting as, as well, and then I just sort of like left it for a little bit, took like a, a step back, and then I sort of like figured, oh, I could put a little bit more on it, and then that would sort of tie in, and then that's how I come up with this bit here, with the bridge of the nose coming down, um, and then I sort of continued it up through the uh, the under belly of uh, the uh, chin, through the mouth, and that. There's still some stuff to go in here. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get some sort of like a, uh, I'm thinking something to do with uh, like rocket heads, just to like put them in sort of there so they look like valves, as it were. So I'm, I'm thinking of something like that. Uh, I'm hopefully I can find something cheap and effective to pull it off. I'm thinking maybe um, biro pen lids, like you know the pointy ones, like the big ones, and I can just be filling the end. And when it comes to painting and uh, filling them in, they'll have like a nice pointy end, and then they'll sort of like set it off so it looks. From a distance, I guess like teeth, or but they're gonna. But the idea is they're gonna be vents or something. Okay. The side part here, it looks a bit bland at the moment. I'm thinking of maybe incorporating the uh, head part, like I've done with the head plate or the side adjoining panels, something on here, or I may just leave it like blank, but then put like a, a texture on it. Like I'm trying to think of like how I can incorporate. Um, uh, like different textures rather than being all painted the same and like just different colours, actual like maybe something I can stick on it, like a texture. Uh, I'm trying to think of something like rough like a sandpaper paper or something like, like that, obviously not real sandpaper, something like you get on like a skateboard that you've got different like groovy uh, colours and that, I'm trying to think of that. Um, I'm still yet to put on the eyepieces with the, uh, the shades, uh, I'm still to do that. So I've got to like put the uh, breakdown of pair of sunglasses or whatever, stick them on and build around it and then have it like still be able to uh, detach but so it still fits up flush with uh, the, the, uh, the uh, under the uh, bridge of the, uh, the eye, like you know along the, uh, the cheekbones and doesn't like conflict with anything that's uh, in front of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, took me, I'd say a couple of hours to get all of this this done, just the the, de the minor detail work, there's still a lot more to go on it. Uh, but yeah guys, any questions, whack them in the comment box below, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, as I said again, as I'll, as I'll probably put it on every uh, video that I do, any suggestions on how I can improve or ideas of your own that you would like to see on one of uh, my projects, because I like this idea a lot, it, it was quick on how everything will come together, so I'll be making a lot more of them. Any ideas of like, you know, references on like, oh, I like this helmet that I've seen, or like, you know, I like the way they've done like the jawline on it, and I'll see if I can incorporate it into one of my future builds. Um, but yeah, 
Any questions, whack them in the comment box below. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, favourite if you want. Uh, and that's it, guys. Feel free to subscribe and uh, more videos coming soon. Uh, cheers.